We have Mexico coming out. We have East Coast. We have Midwest. You know, and it's a tournament that you don't see a whole lot of players of this caliber gather in one spot all that often. Let's go, Kairos. Right. I'm excited. I'm so excited uh, for this matchup. He told me it was going to happen. He, yeah. he held his uh, he held his end of the deal, and we talked about how he's going to play this. I'm not going to say anything to spoil the fun, but very very excited. He's going to pull out some secret tricks, uh, the rabbit in the hat, as he will. Rabbit in the hat. Yeah. I'm excited for this matchup. Um, he has the experience to win this, right. and uh, so does Chag. Chag being a very strong uh, player, uh, he went into the voting phase, not able to get his uh, way voted into Summit, but. He said he's gonna if he's gonna get into summit he's gonna earn it right. and uh, here he is. But I mean in order to earn it you have to beat the best of the best and I know Kairos is gonna test them metal. The raindrop tag I like it from Kairos with the cyan getting hit with double dash attack there. Very very good uh, bait on the counter another bait going for the tomahawk up he not getting a punish on it. Platform tech chase up air not gonna be able to connect. Yeah finding that nair uh, on the landing option Kairos is off stage at 69 percent already. Yep, bomb from the ledge. Now Chag's the one in the corner. Very good. Uh, ledge cancel. Up B from Chag. Covering the runoff side B with his own side B. And Chag's all over Kairos here. Kairos needs to create some space between them. All right, catches the landing with the up B. Doesn't get the up air confirmed because of the tech. But you know what? It's a little bit of damage. But you know, Chag is just not going to let him land for free. Dash back. Boomerang not getting punished by uh, Chag. But Kairos is using these uh, projectiles to create some distance between them. Going for a grab there, getting back aired, and now uh, Kairos on his way to recover. Bomb? Was it early oh. enough? Yeah, he saved his double jump for it, but getting hit with that down tilt into the forward air. It doesn't matter about your recovery mix-up if you find that two frame. I feel like the way you see good Palutena's is how consistent they are to get that two frame down tilt. It's one of the best uh, down tilting uh, moves because it does convert into that kill there. And now Kairos sending him into the corner, needs to make something happen here. The Nair sending him off stage. Going for the high boomerang to cover the double jump or the jump from the ledge, I'm sorry. And here's the nair loops. Unfortunately, he doesn't go for another one and trying to offer an up air instead, but you no, know, finds another one to get an up air into up air. Kairos is struggling to find his way to la uh, land here. Side B into the down air. Not going to connect, but down tilt up air is not is going to connect but not kill. Right, I mean, we just see Kairos bleeding super hard. He needs to find a kill. Doesn't get the air dodge read that he wanted. Very good. Uh, Nair reversal there to not get hit by any of the more untrue combos, but getting punished for that up smash. And now Chag has an immense lead here over Kairos, and that drop down Nair is not going to be able to take it. A bomb. Oh yeah, my god, the bomb unfortunately putting him in a position that was even worse before. Yeah, we've seen Jump Steady cover that. Palutena is very good at their uh, usage of side B to cover, and now he's getting hit with these Nairs. Goes for the forward smash reach on the uh, read on the air dodge. And the Tyros getting the Nair uh, back here has a very little end lag if you don't land with it and was able to get something. Down throw, the bomb missing up the combo for uh, Chag there, but back throw is going to send him off stage. Oh. It's almost like, was that combo even better? That should be it. Uh, if he gets the bear or the counter. Yeah, he's just going to keep going for counter because Kairos has to go low here with no resources. Oh, he, he did made not his way back him. though. Yeah. Went for the up the into back air and getting hit with the back air. Yeah. Chag very, very strong showing there, but you know, Kairos is a player who can definitely, he's very, very good, and he's definitely going to be able to bring this back. Right. He's used to find where he's comfortable, and uh, weaving in and out of Palutena, Chag is able to find his way in with these nares and up airs, and it's going to be very, it's going to be on Kairos to create the space and set the tempo of the match moving forward. Right. And definitely, Chag is, I feel like, almost a step ahead of Kairos. So Kairos tries throwing out this projectile, and, Kairos, and Chag is just like, I see where you're throwing it, or where you want to throw it. I'm just going to avoid it. I'm going to punish you for hitting it. And we see the right. black... Youngling coming out. Kairos, a uh, connoisseur of the counterpicking colors. Uh, I'm going to see how his uh, playstyle changes accordingly. Back airs, uh, going for the double back air there. And very good parry, not getting a punish with a back air, but uh, ooh, very, very scary forward air attempt to hit the legend. I like Kairos, he's kind of swarming Chag here, but Chag able to find the Nair out of shield to punish him. And that's the hard thing about fighting against Palutena is that if you're a very jump heavy character, you know, Palutena is one of the best anti air options with that Nair. Very good awareness from Kairos to go for that immediate jab after the uh, Nair drag down. Covering the uh, ledge cancel with the forward, uh, uh, sorry, the dash attack. Oh, the grab not connecting, so unfortunate from Kairos, but the air, the, sorry, the, um, yeah, the arrow interrupting the side B from uh, Chag. Here we go. I mean, we see Kairos you know, definitely trying to pick and choose his battles a little bit more carefully. Uh, I like the option to avoid getting up smash right there, but 
he was still in a bad position and arguably put himself in an even worse position right there. He has bomb. Is it going to explode? It does explode, but that's not enough to make it back to the legend. Pyro's, or Chag, I'm sorry, taking the stock lead. Yeah, unfortunately, I feel like Young League in particular probably has the worst bumps to recover because it doesn't send that far. Which almost sounds ironic because you want it to send far in order to like, like kill and recover, but yeah, I mean, they're more like combo bombs. Going for that uh, nair, or sorry, that arrow into dash through, but Chag's all over him for uh, all this fake pressure from Cairo, jabbing him back into the corner. Going for a ledge cancel, um, upbeat to snap to the ledge, and he was relying on that boomerang to cover the platform, but he was able to tech through that with the invincibility, and now this is really rough from Cairo, that nair setting up as a chance to recover, going for a high recovery there. And Chag is just playing very, very well against Cairo. I'm surprised we're seeing the counter instead of the back air from Palutena. Yep, arrow into the wave land, not getting anything off of it. Arrow waiting for the tech in place, getting another arrow boomerang. Chag getting hit with a lot of projectiles here. Yeah, Chag finally making it back to center stage, but not for long. Kairos finds and shoots his mark right there. He's able to find it with that arrow into the up air and waiting out the counter there with a grab. And now he has a grab extension and 46% immediately on Chag. And Kairos is coming into the zone. Bomb on the ground, up air, sending him uh, into a juggle situation. Chag just pushing his way, uh, pushing Kairos into the corner. All right. And Kairos doesn't find the option right there in time. Going for those down tilts into jab, not going to connect into anything. Double jumping away from that side B, and now uh, we see the onslaught of projectiles from Kairos, but that back air is going to be able to take it, and now Chag um, has Kairos on potentially his last shot of winning side of pools. Down throw forward air, going for the up air, trying to read a double jump out. But another grab is going to put Kairos into the corner. There we go. All this back air is going to float up a wall of pain for Kairos to try to get through. Drag down there into grab, reading the defensive option. Kairos needs to find his way out of disadvantage. Oh. He keeps getting comboed. He's unable to get back anything forward till sending him off stage. And I love what Chak does. He goes for the up air, being like, if this combos, then it's more damage. And if it doesn't, that means the air dodge, and oh. I can just run up and grab him. But wow. You know, Chag putting on a clinic, showing like how you need to be aggressive, you know, where to put pressure on your opponent to make them crumble. Yeah, he was able to figure out